Lesson 1, Coordinate Geometry, Internal Division of an Interval. Theory. Prove that the coordinates of the point P, X, Y that divide internally the interval joining the points A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2 in the ratio M to N is given by the coordinates M, X2 plus N, X1 over M plus N and M, Y2 plus N, Y1 over M plus N. I've drawn a little diagram here representing these points. And we can see that's the point A and it's the point B, it's the point P, and the ratio is M to N. So constructing these right angle triangles here, we can see that these triangles, BAT, the large one, has to be similar to the smaller triangle, PAR, because this angle is common and they have two right angles. Therefore, by the fact that it's angle, 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 they are similar. Okay, let's match up these sides then. We can see that this side here, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 over x minus x1 is equal to this one, m plus n over m. Okay, so now we'll have m outside of x2 minus x1 equals m plus n outside of x minus x1. Just cross multiplying there. So it becomes m x2 minus m x1 equals m x minus m x1 plus n x minus n x1. And we can see that we can cancel these ones here. They go out. And what I'll do, I'll take this across this side. So I'll have m x2 plus n x1. Taking that one across. And now you'll see here we have a common factor of x. So that's m plus n outside of x. And then dividing through by m plus n, we simply get x equals m x2 plus n x1 over m plus n. Now it's arbitrary where you got this x2 and the x1, but if you go back to the original diagram, you'll see that this m matches up with the x2. Alright, so m goes with x2, and the n goes with the x1. So if you reverse these around the other way, it wouldn't matter, so long as you multiply that m times the furthest one away. And so it's a fairly simple little formula. And correspondingly, we can see that by doing the same sort of thing, we get that y is equal to my2 plus ny1 over m plus n by simple symmetry. So that's the coordinates of Rp. All right, here's an example. Example one, find the coordinates of the point that divides internally the interval joining the points minus five, six, and minus two, three in the ratio two to three. Now what I would do with this one, I just, you don't have to draw this exactly on the number line. What I'll do, I just let me draw a line like this. And then we just pop on here. Minus five, six. Keep it reasonable. I mean, just put the minus five, then the minus two, then up back the front. Minus two, three. But you don't have to worry about having this at an angle. Okay. And it's dividing the ratio two to three. Now I get this roughly right, so it's going to be about somewhere like that. There it is. There. That's the point. Let P. Now this is going to be my x two, y two, and my x1, y1, but as I said before, it doesn't matter. Make that x1, y1 if you like. Now your form is 2 to 3. Now, x will be equal to mx2 plus nx1 over m plus n. 
that's equal to this one, 2 times the furthest one away, so that's 2 times um, 2 times minus 2 plus, now this one, 3 times minus 5 over 2 plus 3. Of course, that's going to give me minus 15 minus 4 minus 19 on 5 which is going to give me minus 3.8 ok now for the, the uh, y value so y equals my2 plus ny1 over m plus n, which equals, now this will be the 2 times the 3, plus the 3 times the 6, 3 times the 6, over 2 plus 3, and that gives me 24 on 5, which is 4.8. So the coordinates are minus 3.8 and 4.8. Example 2. Show that the point B, minus 2 naught, lies on the interval joining A, 7 minus 3, and C, minus 5, 1, and find the ratio in which it divides the interval AC. Now, I've put a question mark here because we're not sure that that does lie on that line. But what I'll do, I'll look at the gradient of BC. Let's do that now. So the gradient of BC and BC is equal to the difference in the y value. So it'll be 0 take away 1 over minus 2 take away negative 5, which is minus 1 over 3. Now, the gradient of AB is equal to the difference of the y value, so it'll be minus 3 take away 0 over 7 take away negative 2, which is minus 3 on 9, which also is minus a third. Now, because we've chosen the point B, and if these gradients are the same, then B must lie on the line AC. Now determine the, the ratio of, uh, which, which divides the line interval AC going from yes, this way. All we have to do is look at the x values here. We can look at the y values if we wish, but we don't have to. And we'll see that, th that that distance there is going to be 7 to minus 2 is going to be 9 units. And from minus 2 to minus 5, that's a distance of 3 units. So the ratio for AC is, is 3 to 1. So B divides AC in the ratio 3 to 1. Okay, It will divide CA in the ratio 1 to 3.